How does the mind goes blank when it comes to important uh, events like um, interviews or important meetings or it could be anything, any important thing that happens in our lives, the events and the mind goes blank and then we don't know how to balance it. The mind goes blank and everything is like out, out of focus. So what to do? How, how, do, how all of this happens? Let us first understand by Bhagavad Gita that the mind is the origin of all speculation. It is the fact. Without the mind there is no speculation. So the mind is a center point of everything, even when it comes to thoughts, the mind is important. So let's say you have to go for an interview. Now what happens in an interview? When you reach there, you know you want to give your interview and it's really important. Not just an ordinary interview, important interview that can give you a lot of money and you've been waiting for it. So you've been preparing yourself and you know what you need to do. So what do you do? You go to that place, you're sitting down and you talk to a receptionist and they say, just wait for five, ten minutes and then you can go in. Or they'll say, wait, there are a few more people you have to wait and then you can go in. So in this case, mm -hmm. at that point when you're sitting down, what happens to you? You're nervous and you're super scared. What's going to happen? How is it going to happen? This procrastination should be stopped before the interview. Something which is about to happen is running in your head. That process should be stopped. Example is, how does the um, the fan works. The fan works on electricity. If there is no electricity, no fan. That's true. But the electricity is running the fan. We all know that. We have no control over the electricity, but we have over but we have the control over the fan. How is that? by the help of the switch. So what am I trying to say here is our thoughts are running on the basis of our emotions. How we feel the emotions run on that. So what is happening in this situation is when you get out of your home and you reach to that place and you have to wait there's a waiting game going on between you and that meeting or the interview. That process is called processing. That period is called processing. What is processing? What is happening inside of you? That is processing. Your thoughts and your emotions are heavily taking over you and you have no idea what's going to happen. This uncertainty that's happening inside is already picturing in your head and this is very dangerous. You should not let that allow to happen. Bhagavad Gita says that whatever is going to happen and you're procrastinating it, it will only destroy your knowledge before the thing happens. So you should not let that thing happen. The example is Notice when a strong emotion of annex to your fearfulness or anxiety is happening where you're sitting down, the 
thoughts are racing with time. You have no control over the thoughts because of the emotions. So the emotions run the thoughts at that point. So what you need to do in this case is, the moment, example is, before I give you the solution, if all this is happening and you go inside and you've procrastinated it, the moment you enter, the scene is different. The, uh, the event that is taking place is at the right moment, but you have thought before it happened. So now the mind cannot understand this. And therefore, when you sit down and they ask you questions, you go bonkers and your mind is totally blank. The period before it's happening, you have to stop that procrastination and you have to stay in that moment. So now what you need to do, before it happens, learn the triggers, what is happening for that moment, anxiety, fearfulness, you don't know what's going to happen, fear of unknown, and a lot of thoughts, a lot of replays going inside your head. And when you reach the point, your mind is going to go blank. So what you need to do here is, when you're sitting down in that place, let's say you have a receptionist and you're sitting down, what you need to do here is, you need to learn the triggers. If the thoughts are racing and there is fear of anxiety and all those emotions going on, you need to get out of that headspace. Instead of focusing inside what's happening, focus outside. Sit down on that seat where you're sitting down. Feel the chair. Feel the chair. Outside, focus outside, not inside. Please understand this. Feel the chair. Feel your hands, your feet. Look all around. What is happening? Feel everything. When you start to feel things, when you're focusing outside, that's the time you've got to start to calm yourself down. How do you calm yourself down? By focusing outside and breathe. Get out of that head of something is happening inside. Stop the stories that this is how it's going to happen. This is how they're going to ask me. No, nothing is happening. You're sitting there. That is the truth. That's it. Calm yourself down, relax, and stay in the moment. And completely detach from what's going to happen. Relax yourself. Look all around. Smile. Or you can even, if you have a earphone, put in the earphone and listen to some relaxing music that will calm you down. Don't focus on what's going to happen, because you don't know. Do we know when we're going to die? We don't know. Then how can you procrastinate on something which is about to happen? You, you can't do that. So don't have control over all of this. Control the situation where you are. Calm yourself down. Relax. And then you do your best. When you go inside, go with full confidence. You've got it. Because once you control your emotions in your mind, your thoughts, you're at the present moment, you'll be able to win the situation. You're going to win this. This is all you got to do. Please understand this. Control your emotions, control your thoughts and be in the present moment. Relax. Think outside your mind. Look outside, not inside. Because when there's this turbulence going inside, to stop the force, you have to look outside, not inside. Calm yourself down and bring back the consciousness. So God bless you all. And may you have an abundant, sweet life. Thank you. And please, please, please do subscribe. The channel is for you to grow. 
as an individual and become the better version of you. Please subscribe, share, and spread as many as you want for those who really need to uh, master their emotions. Help them with this video. Hare Krishna.